happen. We've already seen uh, reports uh, coming out of the Gulf in terms of folks who are cleaning up who are getting sick. We also hear reports in terms of not really having the right gear, things along those lines. As a doctor, what have you been advising to the folks who are participating in the cleanup effort, how they should protect themselves from the chemicals, from the oil, from the, all the, dis the, the uh, disbursements? Well, we got to remember that the people that will sign up to go do an oil cleanup, we know are generally some of the most disenfranchised people anyway. They're going to do what they need to do to make their money to support their family. Generally, that same person is a person that doesn't go to the doctor, doesn't have a lot of money, so they're doing what they need to do. So I'm recommending, number one, that they wear appropriate gear, Tyvek suits, whatever we need to do to make sure that they're uh, appropriately protected. But another thing that, that's a real problem is that they're out there, this is a time bomb, because when they're exposed to these carcinogenic materials, we don't know what's going to happen. What I'm trying to get uh, set up down there is a registry so that anyone that, that is actually down there and doing cleanup can have a baseline physical, a baseline uh, mental exam, so that as things progress over time, when all the cameras shut off, when everything is gone, then we can still have a way to track their health so we can know if this actually did cause a major problem in their health. Early on, BP was using, I mean, thousands of gallons of chemicals a day. Lisa Jackson, the EPA administrator, uh, we talked to her on this show, and she uh, ordered them to drastically cut down the amount being used each day. She said because they were not sure, as you said, what the future e even holds them. Uh, and so how can you and other doctors track that uh, to be able to follow this whole thing through? Because what we're hearing is, yeah, EPA is testing air and water, but what you're saying is we don't know the long-term impact beyond what's happening uh, in these uh, few days. Yeah. One thing we, we don't know in, in vivo, meaning exactly when, when, the, when the people are out there, we don't know those effects, but we do know uh, the, the, uh, the dispersants are half solvent and half surfactant. Surfactant is a chemical that we use in, in dishwashing detergent. It's just soap, no big deal, it doesn't cause a problem. The other half, however, is a solvent, which we know over and over and over is a carcinogen. So baseline physicals, baseline health status on these, on these patients or these, these, um, the, the people that are out there, uh, because they're not patients yet, we hope they never become patients, but uh, to, to track them through at least 15 years. All right, Dr. Avery, we surely appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.